Good morning and welcome to another edition of Relevant News. Today is March 30th, 2014. Guinea battles to contain Ebola as Senegal closes its borders. Guinea is racing to contain a deadly Ebola epidemic spreading from its southern forest to the capital Conquery as neighboring Senegal closes its borders. The European Union pledged 500,000 euros or $690,000 to fight the contagion. While the Senegalese Interior Ministry said border crossings to Guinea would be closed until further notice, the order affects crossing at Kolda and Kedorga, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, in the south of Senegal, which are heavily used by traders, particularly during a weekly market attended by thousands from neighboring countries. Eight cases of Ebola have been confirmed in Conquery, and the Guinea Health Ministry said late Friday, including one fatality. Across the country, the total number of suspected cases recorded from January 28 to March 2014 is 111 cases of the hemorrhagic fever, including 70 deaths, or a fatality rate of 63%, the ministry said in a statement. Guys, this Ebola thing is really scary. If it jumps and becomes, uh, it starts affecting people out of Guinea, this could get to be a very dangerous situation, so keep your eyes open on this one. More about the earthquake in Los Angeles. 5.1 quake displaces Los Angeles area residents after shocks continue. 20 miles south of Los Angeles on Friday, a magnitude 5.1 earthquake struck. A strong shake hit the region just after 9 p.m. local time, but no major damages were caused. A moderate quake that rattled a swath of South Southern California forced dozens of people in one community out of their homes after firefighters discovered foundation problems that made the buildings unsafe to enter, an authority said. Fire crews tagged 20 apartment buildings in the area in the building of Orange County. Fullerton, after a major foundation crack was found, structural woes including broken chimneys and leaning were uncovered in a half a dozen single-family homes which were also deemed unsafe to occupy until building inspectors cleared the structures. The damage displaced 83 residents. Despite the evacuation, Friday night's magnitude 5.1 quake centered about 25 miles south of downtown Los Angeles. The quake was preceded by two smaller force shocks and more than 100 aftershocks following including a magnitude 4.1 that hit Saturday afternoon, the largest in the sequence so far. No injuries were reported. Residents were inconvenienced and some lost valuables, but thankfully the damage wasn't greater. Business owners in Orange County spent the aftermath sweeping up shattered glass and restocking shelves. Utility crews worked to restore power and shut off gas leaks and water main breaks. A rock slide in Canyon County area nearby Berea remained closed to traffic. Guys, keep your eyes open on this earthquake activity. There's rumor that it's, this could be uh, a precursor to a very big quake. Russian Times reports Russia has no intention to send troops into Ukraine, says Lavrov. There is no intention in Moscow to send its troops into the eastern Ukraine, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said. Hopefully the growing understanding in the West of Russia's position will allow for a de-escalation of tensions, he added. In an interview with uh, 24 Channel TV, Lavrov spoke on the futile attempts to isolate Russia diplomatically. The growing acceptance of the need for consumer reform, which Moscow proposes, the prospects of NATO's expansion into Ukraine, and the potential for global presence of the Russian Navy. No isolation of Russia in UN Assembly vote on Crimea. After the G7 countries announced their decision to withdraw from the G8, it was said that now Russia is isolated in the international arena in the UN General Assembly. 100 countries voted against Russia. The claim of Russia being isolated is true then. Lavrov, isolation is a term invented by the Western parties to act with nostalgic geo, neo imperial ambitions in mind. The instant something isn't in their liking, they draw out their sanction stick. The times when such strategies could be employed are long gone. They should think about getting every, 
everyone, with no exception, to work together, not about isolating partners. Credit goes out to W7 on this next story. Aviation ex experts and UFO conspirators have been perplexed by photographs of a mysterious flying object in the U.S. airspace. Folks, you definitely see a triangular-shaped craft with either a contrail or a chemtrail coming out the back. Now, this is one of those things where people who claim to see UFOs will say that this is a UFO from extraterrestrial origin, and I believe that there are triangular extraterrestrial craft, um, but when you see reports of those, you'll see that they may know uh, sound and that there was no evidence that how they were being propelled. This uh, picture clearly shows that there's some sort of propellant uh, being evacuated from the uh, from the craft. So grainy images showed a triangular blob with a long vapor trail flying through the clear blue skies above Amarillo, Texas, next to another contrail left before it. Defense Technology blog Aries claims that this could be one of the rare times a classified military plane has been photographed. As far as I know, this sort of thing has happened only once since 1956, explained blogger Bill Sweetman. Witnesses considered dissing case 55,007 from the MUFON witnesses and his grade school buddy were sleeping in a camp camper where a blanket covered one of, side of them of the morning on 1951. 